Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas and welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today we are going to discuss a very short but interesting topic that is hydroboration reaction of carboxylic acid. <coughs> okay, so this is the I would rather say very interesting topic and very small topic. So we will discuss this and we will compare the reactivity of carboxylic acid versus ester. Okay, so a lot of chemistry to be learned. Let's start. So as you can see. Uh, in presence of BH3 or better to say B2H6, reaction of carboxylic acid produces a primary alcohol. Question how? So, if we look at carboxylic acid, this, this contains a delta positive proton and B2H6 which is equivalent to 2BH3, it's a dimer. So, in presence of donor atom, this reacts and if we, if we check this BH3, this hydrogen is delta negative. So actually what is happening? This is actually the hydrogen production reaction. So the first step of the process is hydrogen production. Okay. So boron is six electron species means it is electron deficient. Okay. So this is actually six electron species electron deficient. Consequently, whereas this carboxylic acid is electron rich. Okay. By the way, how this reaction happens? Reaction happens by this pushes and this. Why this oxygen attached to the central boron? Because if you look at the resonance structure of carboxylic acid, this it has a canonical form that is RCOO minus double bond OH. This is so. What is the conclusion? See, it was electron rich. Because of this canonical form, it is further rich. So now, conclusion of the story is this is electro more electron rich, so it will react to the it will donate its electron pair to the Lewis acid. Okay, fine. Now, so this we understood. So after that, what it will result? So this will result in C double bond O B. These are the three hydrogens. Okay. So this is plus boron have the formal negative charge. Now, sorry, this is OH plus. So we know that carboxylic acids are pretty polar. They are very polar, means they contain polar hydrogen. Now after this bond formation, they become further polar. Okay. So consequently, what happens? That these two hydrogen combine and produce hydrogen gas. Okay. So how you can Consider that this, that it will come here, it will come here. Okay. So in this way, it will result in formation of the R. So this two hydrogen and here there is double bond O plus hydrogen gas. Okay. This reaction is very fast and actually instead of further reduction, this will form this RCO, this is 3 boron. So this it will be happen very instantly. But if we compare its react, okay we will come later, but if we compare this part with a star, for example this. So then the canonical form of corresponding ester is this, but this is not that much electron rich that it could give this electron to Lewis acid like boron. So what is the conclusion of this story? That esters are not that much reactive like carboxylic acid. Okay. And additional thing is that OR bond in ester is very strong. So they could not be broken like the proton. So esters are not that much reactive compared to carboxylic acid. So carboxylic acid reacts instantly and addition it produces hydrogen. Okay. So this instantly it results in this trialkyl boron formation. Whether reaction will proceed further or not depend on the stoichiometry of this region. Okay. So what is that first acid based reaction? Now in the next stage what is expected? See actually you may think that this boron versus this BH3 versus trialkyl boron. This boron is very electron rich because this oxygen lone pair from means this could be donated to the boron and in this way the electron deficiency of the boron center could be reduced. Okay. I guess up to this much is clear. Now in next step what happens? In next step 
in next step boron further coordinated to the boron further coordinated to the oxygen and transfer hydrogen how this thing happens let me show by the way always boron since boron bh means boron is six electron species it is electron deficient okay so and another thing is that why this is further reduced because this is nothing but you can consider anhydride anhydride means this is this same thing rest to see this is anhydride why because this ox lone pair is drawn in this side as well as in this side both side you may consider this phenomena like acid anhydrides here the oxygen here the oxygen lone pair is localized in both of the carbonyl group similarly like this boron that's why you may consider the reactivity is like it is like a boron anhydride okay so now in the next step what happens in next step this can also coordinate to another bh3 okay this and this and here the reaction process to a three member ring sorry four member ring how that you may consider that it will attack here and this will come to this means r c o b this is these are the another hydrogens and here one hydrogen and here one o b this okay so this is and c right now it is nothing but a gem diol derivative means same means actually better to say it's an aldehyde so what happens that this is broken and it forms corresponding aldehyde means you may consider like that it pushes it come back so what it result it result in r c o h and aldehydes are very reactive okay so in next step what happens it donate to further means i am showing bh3 but it will continue okay so means here you may consider that two vh are there in this case you can think okay so one point is in this case another case if you think simple bst i would rather say instead of avoiding complication just don't mention what are the two other substituents just show this and in this case what happens it will attack and this goes so what is the result so r c 1 h this is another h and this is o this is p okay this and further in the next step hydrolysis so hydro if you do the hydrolysis what you can expect hydrolysis means the oh part will go to the boron and this h part will go to the oxygen okay this is delta minus this is delta plus this is delta plus this is delta minus okay so in hydrolysis means in presence of water it will result r c h 2 o h okay so this is the overall process of this reaction now question one interesting question could be constructed from this study what instead of b h 3 or b 2 h 6 if they take if they given B D three, I guess I mean it's deuterium. Then what will be changed? B D three point number one and point number two that is water or H three O means what alkaline water. Okay, sodium hydroxide. Then what will be the product? Remember this thing. Then this will be D, but this will be H. Similarly, vice versa question could be constructed. This is B H three. This is N O D D two O. What will be the conclusion? This will be D. Okay, please be careful in this stage. So this is the overall process of this reaction. So what do you have learned? We have learned that boron, boron, BH three or B two H six dimer, it's very reactive to react with carboxylic acid because carboxylic acid contains delta positive proton and this is hydride. It is a boron hydride. So they combine and produce hydrogen gas and this reaction is very fast. It will happen. Second, after formation of a boron borate ester, better to say tri acetyl borate. This this is very electron deficient. This oxygen, this carbonyl group is electron deficient, electrophilic. Why? Because the lone pair of oxygen is delocalized between boron and carbonyl group like an anhydride. That's why this is called boron anhydride. Third, this anhydride will be further reduced by excess of boron reagent, and which will ultimately end up in the primary alcohol. And through the process, through in uh, this aldehyde derivative as an intermediate, and will result in primary alcohol. 
okay so this is the end of this discussion now question another thing what i discussed why esters are not active because esters cannot donate to the boron center so much strongly that that they that's why they are very less reactive compared to this reagent so conclusion is that if you mix this mix this acid and ester only ester will react second another interesting information for example if you take a carbonyl means one side is carbonyl and one side is acid and if you mix it with if you mix it with one equivalent so means what do i say better to say better to say one third bh3 if you mix this both which part will reagent for example reduction of this carbonyl lead one anhydride and re removal of this proton needs one hydride okay and one third means its number is same now question which one will react actually this carboxylic acid will react what i told that this reaction is very fast very easy and proof of this concept that instead of carbonyl also this is react faster and form the bond crystal okay so this is the end of this discussion thank you for watching i thought this i think this video may be useful for you if it is please share my channel to grow first of all subscribe my channel chemistry the mystery of molecule please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video i upload secondly share this video among your friends such that they can also enjoy the benefit and most importantly please like the video and make some good comments because it inspires a lot so thank you again stay happy stay blessed see you in my next video